My videos are intended to give you ideas for living off the grid for yourself. And if you like those ideas and you want to incorporate them yourself and you're not really sure how to do it, be sure to hire a professional that understands it. Now, on with the video. Well, we're having a real nice storm here in Colorado, and as a result, I'm not able to get much done. But on the flip side, I do have a chance to work on a video. Now that's something I've never gotten to do during a snowstorm, but since I've installed this wind turbine from Thermodyne, today's a pretty good day for doing just such a thing as that. I've spent the last several months testing and studying my wind generator that I've received from Thermodyne and first I want to say that this is not a comparison video of any kind. This is my review and personal opinion of the turbine I received from them. However, since there have been personal attacks and misrepresented videos from other owners of this product, I'm going to have this copyright watermark at the bottom of my video to let everyone know that I own this material and its contents and it's not to be shared with anyone without my express permission. As you know from previous videos, I'm not a fan of wind turbines in the first place, but when I ran across these, uh, these little micro wind turbines, and for the price I was compelled to give it a try, so my criteria for selection was price and price alone. The first thing I want to say is that I'm exceptionally pleased with both my wind turbine and the folks at Thermodyne. My system was reasonably priced and anytime I had a question, the support was consistent and proactive. I purchased my system for about $400 plus another hundred for pipe tower and wiring. The wind turbine is a two wire 48 volts DC unit that can produce up to 1600 watts. What I love about this turbine is the fact that it is made primarily from a Chevy alternator, basically, and that means I can replace uh, the shaft bearings just by simply going down to my uh, local uh, automotive store in town, and that's the thing I've had uh, go out on any wind generator before. Um, at first I thought Thermodyne's claim was a bit lofty until I did some backside investigating, I went to the Delco Remy website and uh, sure enough their alternators are capable of 400 amps at 12 volts DC and that's 4800 watts. So I ordered the Commander wind turbine and impatiently waited for it to arrive. The unit came nicely packaged in a double thickness box. I carefully unpacked all the parts and arranged them for pictures and I was really enamored with the simplicity of design for the whole thing. I discovered a large support group of users who exchange ideas for mounting designs, assistance with problems, and just plain tinkering around. Suddenly this whole concept of grassroots wind technology has become a fun pastime because it's not uh, considered taboo to dissect a unit and discover it's in and workings. Of course you do so at your own risk, but you aren't made to feel like you're committing some kind of act of abomination. To do so. I started out by assembling the various components until I had everything assembled with the exception of the blades. Not able to wait long and being the country engineer that I am, I went outside and set the turbine on a piece of plastic electrical conduit uh, from an earlier project and allowed it to spin up. I was pleased. 
The next morning, my neighbor brought over his post hole digger, and we began setting the tower on the north end of my house. The winds are predominantly from the west, but if a cold front blows in, then the wind is obviously out of the north. So it made the most sense to mount the turbine there. After we attached the pole to the eaves of the house, we set it into the hole previously dug. Then I climbed up to the house peak to tighten the bolts there. As soon as we raised the, uh, the pole into position, the turbine started to spin nicely. I liked how quiet it was, and even now I love the simplicity of design with this thing. Then I spent the next several days making observations and recording output levels. Of course, as Murphy's Law would have it, the windy season here hasn't been too windy, but even then it seemed something with the turbine wasn't just quite right. When the wind was up and around 12 to 15 miles per hour, I was, I was only getting 6 to 7 amps, and I finally called Bob at Thermodyne and he was immediately helpful. He told me that the present generator technology on PMAs itself has pretty much maxed out and that blade design and manufacture is going to hold the key to the next level for turbine output. I have to agree with that. After some discussion, we settled on the newer set of blades called T-Rex. When I received the blades, I installed them on the hub and checked them for balance. The blades are more meaty and seem to be in a whole new class, having sturdy construction while still flexible enough to bend a bit in the wind. The diameter of the blades is also larger. Then I went up on my roof and installed the new blades and hub. Then I waited for the wind. With these newer blades, my system is now producing 10 amps steady at 58 volts DC, and those 20 mile per hour gusts produce 15 amps or 870 watts. That's not bad at all. Recently, we had a pretty fair windstorm on the mountain, and it was windy enough to wake me up, but not enough to get me out of bed. Um, so uh, instead I just picked up my Android phone and Skyped into the phone that's uh, in the electrical shed where I see my meters. I then took screenshots of those readings to show you here. In this photo, the output had actually peaked at 22 amps. But my reaction time coupled with the delay on the Androids had the output back down to 18 amps before the screen snapshot was actually stored. The voltage that night was 52 or 55.2 volts, giving an output of 1,214 watts that I personally witnessed. But in all fairness of facts, I can produce, I have proof that the turbine produced 993 watts. Might as well be a thousand because it's only seven away from that. Weather Underground showed the site near me had peak wind gusts of 27 miles per hour that same night. I am very pleased. So based on my personal experience with wind generators in the past, and Thermodyne in the present, I must say that I welcome wind power to my life once again. In the winter when there's less sun, this little turbine makes the difference between having low batteries in the morning and nearly charged batteries on those cold winter mornings. I recommend micro wind turbines and I highly recommend Thermodyne. My experience has been great. That's it for this week's video. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next week or next month or whenever I get to it. I always answer questions whether posted publicly or privately. See you then.